We have a big house with a big attic filled with old gear. Mom says it all must go, but I say each piece has a story. Welcome to the Gear Graveyard. Okay, welcome back to the Gear Graveyard with Dad and True. Here we are. Here we are on our patio with the HP LaserJet 3P, a printer that in 2022 is actually 30 years old. How about that? Uh, the uh, guys at the um, at the uh, what do you call it the, the the not the recycling place but the um, free geek place. Free geek revival. They would not take this printer uh, because they said they have to pay to have printers. Uh, actually, uh, they have to get rid of them if they don't work. I don't think this is one work one works, but we're gonna actually try it and see if it does. So here it is. You can see it comes with the nice fold up front. Okay. The 3P was a workhorse, but the HP LaserJet 2 was the one that the businesses had. Mm -hmm. So this was one that was uh, created for people in their homes. So I bought this for my home office. It cost me approximately $1,250. Okay. What is that? This is 1990, correct? This is 1992, roughly speaking. So That's, that seems like a bit of money. <laughs> it was a bit. It was a bit of money. Yes, it was. And it went with a, a, a Gateway 2000 286 computer, which cost two thousand dollars, roughly thereabouts. So, so all in all, it was about three thousand dollars. Thirty-two fifty, roughly speaking. Okay. And and uh, the uh, inflation calculator shows that to be about what sixty-five hundred. Yeah. Sixty-five hundred and twenty twenty-two dollars. So, so this uh, printer has not been used in a long time. It's been in the attic. You can see it's covered by um, attic uh, attic dust yeah. there. Um, but we're gonna just run through its features, and then we're gonna see if it powers up. Okay. So you open the you open the front. This is the paper tray, mm -hmm. and I brought some paper here just in, so we can run a, a test, a self test, just to see if it works. It has this nifty little thing that slides out, so the paper rests on that. Mm -hmm. And I got the optional, because I was like all in, I got the optional paper tray. So the paper goes in here and then comes out here. And if you don't have the little paper tray, it, it, it falls. Here, you hold the uh, camera for just a second. Okay, I'm going to put this on, and it goes like this. And I don't know if these things are around there anymore. Okay, so that's how it would go on. And it's long enough for a, uh, you know, a long... Uh, a piece of the paper if you want it to come out that way. It, mm -hmm. So wait, I said this wrong. The, in Under normal circumstances, paper goes in there and it comes out here. Okay. Yeah. So without, um, without this tray, it would come out up here at this top slit. Correct. It would come out right there. Now come back around here and you'll see that there's this little gizmo right on here. So that if you tip this down, mm -hmm. you could get the paper to come out here. Uh -huh. Which is better for some lengths of paper, and I don't really exactly remember why. Is this so, what you use primarily? Yes, I use this for just okay. mostly documents. Uh -huh. I mean, it's mostly a document printer. It can print graphics, but it was mostly for documents. And then over here, I found in the attic, also with this, the manuals that go with it. Here's the big printer manual, inch thick. Wow. Yeah, everything you ever wanted to know about <laughs> this printer. I mean, it's kind of insane, the manuals that they would have given us back then. But look at these character charts and graphic stuff wow. and, and oh, it's kind of it's kind of insane and <laughs> all this solving printer problems q and a in the back yeah so this and the and this little cheat sheet the quick reference guide this is what we would want today if you even want that yeah I mean, most things are so self-explanatory now you don't even need anything like this but this is the printing menu and you can kind of see the status messages and all that kind of stuff so mm -hmm. anyway so this is what came with it but now what's funny is that this all, this other book also came with it the software application notes and this huh. tells you how to use it with your software so you tell me if you've ever heard of any of these software packages <laughs> because it has a, a little section that is generic at the beginning but then it says lotus one two three have you ever heard of lotus one two three yeah i got nothing <laughs> got nothing early spreadsheet that was okay. one of the first spreadsheets um, the next section is on always Remember Always? I don't, actually. I can't believe you don't remember Always. Always was a an add-in for Lotus 1-2-3 that allowed you to format, because oh. Lotus 1-2-3 was all text, at least in its early versions. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Always was an add-on that you put in that let you change fonts and, and cell sizes and yeah. make graphs and things like that. So uh, also long gone. Microsoft Word. I think I know that I one. I do know <laughs> that one. Microsoft Word's still going strong 30 years later, oh, yeah. despite the fact that so many other word processes are so much better. You know, Microsoft Word, I, my dad's computer, I didn't even give it to him because it won't run on Windows 10. At least oh. it doesn't run normally on Windows 10. So 
I gave him um, what's it called? It's it's um, called um, Google Docs. No, no Google Docs is of course what I mostly use. Although I still use Word. I still use a really I still use a twenty year old version of Word. <laughs> so does your mom uh, in her job. Anyway, it's a, it's a different one altogether. Professional write? No, I can't say no. I have. Word processor long gone. Yeah. Last ep last upgrade was in the early 90s, early oh. maybe mid 90s. So this was the last hurrah. And then Windows 3.0. That seems like a couple windows ago. That was a couple <laughs> of windows ago, yes it was. And then I think in the back there's, oh, Word Perfect. I forgot, Word Perfect, another word processor. Long gone. I believe it's long gone. I, I guess I can't say for sure. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, so that was how to, how to use it with that. All mm -hmm. right, let's find out. You know, this I'm going to put this printer at the alley tonight. I checked on eBay. They're not worth anything. So it's going to go out. It's going to go to um, <clears throat> the city of Minneapolis. They're going to take it away. I'm going to put a sign on it that says solid waste, and it's going to go. But before we do that, we're going to plug it in and see if it works and see if we can run a self-test on it. Okay. So what I'm going to do before I do that is I'm going to open the front and take all this out, and I'm going to open the front and see if... Look, there's a cartridge in there. Here's a That's an ink cartridge? That's the ink cartridge, and here's the Holy drum right moly. in here behind the... And that, that's not been used in a while, so I don't know if that'll wow. work. Okay, the fuser on this model is in here. This guy is the fuser, and I don't remember how this comes out. I think there was a, you lift, oh yeah, you lift up, and then you put that in. I can't remember exactly how this comes out, but I think this is why I stopped using it. I think the fuser had to be replaced, and it just uh, wasn't, it just wasn't worth it. So, and there's a ton of dust and everything like that. I don't yeah. know. So, we're doing this out on the, um, we're doing this out on the patio, mostly because... Maybe it'll explode. Oh, no, it's not going to explode, ah, okay, but okay. it might It might be bad. So we'll just put this in here. We won't use the special tray. We're going to plug it in. Here's the plug-in. And we're just going to see if the baby fires out. Well, what, on the, what else in the back does it have here? Well, let's see. This is, a, here. This, is a, this here is a, a place for a font cartridge. Mm -hmm. I don't know anybody who ever had a font cartridge, especially if you could do soft fonts, which means you sent them to the printer by software. Yeah. These things are guides that... Um, you put them up and they stop. Uh, I think this is an 8x10 photo, and I think this is an 8.5x11 page, and I think this is legal page. I think mm. that's what those are. Okay. So, underneath here, the ports, that is the parallel port for the printer. Ah. That's a serial port. I don't know that that was ever used. This one was the one I would have used. Mm. And then I think that's it. Okay. Although there's a cool, um, come around on the other side here, and you can see the speed holes over here. Which were for? Uh, to, to just show how fast it was. Oh, okay. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what it's for. I think it's a little vent. Uh, okay. Probably venting out heat there or something. But you can tell from the shape that it's supposed to move fast. Okay, it's fast. Everything's yeah. supposed to move fast, yes. Yeah, it's a little spoiler. All right, so we've got it plugged in. We're going to power it on. Focus on this guy, and let's see if we get any sign of life at all. It's not looking good so far. It is. Oh, look, green lights. Oh, yeah. Yeah, little lights there. Oh, there, yep, there's, yep, there it is. What do you see? It says O5 self test. It's O5 self test. Well, let's see what it can do. So we're gonna see when it says it's still doing self test. Let's see if it's actually gonna run or if it's gonna fail the self test. So the lights went out. Lights off. It's still trying to run this. Uh, warm up. Warm up. Something's happening. <laughs> If this does something, I'm going to totally, I'm going to be shocked. And it is letter ready. Oh, my Oh, goodness. my gosh. Now, we can't hook it up to a computer because computers don't have parallel ports anymore. So we would need an adapter or something like that mm -hmm. to get it to be a USB. Um, so we can't do that. But we can run the self-test. Okay. And we hold the alt and we hit test. Hit and hold test, I think, is what we have to do. And this, should, this should take in a piece of paper. It should take in... It's not doing anything. Mm. Nope. It's not doing anything. And these buttons might just not work. Maybe that's all it is. Yeah. Boy, I wish we had something that we could... We can take it on and offline. That's good. We hold all, let's hold Enter and just see if something happens. No. So you're supposed to be able to hold Alt to get the lower... Yeah. The lower things on here. So I'm gonna Well if we can't do that, let's take a look at the menu here then. Well, we'll look at the menu and just see what um what we get, but I'm gonna press and hold. It's like press and hold for six seconds or something. So let's just see if maybe it does it should go into a self test mode and print a test page. But it doesn't appear to want to do that. Yeah. And that would be possibly the 
so we'll check that. I did actually, I did actually look in the book to make sure that I was doing the right, that I was doing the right thing, and the self-test. Let's see, and the, it, this is here. We've got the manual, so yes, here we, this is what we, we want to do. do. We, can we, can, look it up. we can look it up. That's the handy thing about this. All right, uh, the test key two eight. So we go to page two eight. Took that guy out of there, and there's two eight. Test key can be used to perform self test. Perform, click me on. Oh, take it offline. Ah, there we go. Okay. All right, the online area should be off. Hold down Alt and click the test key. Alt, test. Ooh, oh, self -test. self test. Self test. Self test. So that means it should now take in a piece of paper. The self test takes approximately 30 seconds to complete and will take longer if accessory memory boards have been installed. The zero four self test. One oh five. That says oh five. Oh oh five. So. So, zero, if 04 self-test appears, click the online key to stop the continuous self-test. Up to six more pages will print. So, during the print portion of this... Oh, print, print test. test. See it? You got it? You got it on there? Yeah. Print test. Is it going to do it? Print test, print test, print test. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. During the print... Oh! Something's... Can you hear it? 06 print test now. Oh, I six. heard it. It made you a sound. It? It's, it's got this very classic whine that comes up. It's grabbed a piece of paper. Come on, go in. Piece of paper. Give me a second, give me a second. Paper jam. Oh. So clear paper jam, you just open it up, and then you put this back down again. And no, it does on. warm up. We may have to help it get through. We may have to help to help this piece of paper get in. So yep. let's see if we can print test. So go in, piece of paper. Nah, you know what? I think it can't load a piece of paper because it's probably the rubber is all is all bad. Yeah. All right, so let's we'll, we'll just do a little bit of still seeing paper jam. Still seeing paper jam. We're gonna look here and see if there's anything we can do to clear, clean these guys off. And get them. Make sure they're loose. Make sure it's actually gonna take the paper. We hope it'll take the paper. That's in. That's good. All right. Give her another try. Try it again. Warm up. Because warm up. It's gonna switch to pay and print test in a second here. So come on. It makes a little whirring sound. Let's makes see if it'll go sound. in. Oh I see these dials moving up here. Yep, those are that's a different Oh I can hear it trying to do it. I can hear it trying to do it. Trying it to take it. It can't grab the page though. Yep. We're seeing we're seeing paper jam paper again. Paper jam again. All right, so which one is grabbing here? That guy should be grabbing. I don't know if these guys are turning. Something was grabbing. I don't know if that's... I don't know if this is... If this is what would be grabbing it. I wonder if we put it in a, bit, a little bit like that, if we can maybe give it a little... like a head start. Hmm. You put it on Back a, the warm-up sequence. Back to warm-up. Here's a little whirring, print test. Yeah, it's trying to do it's so close, but it's not, it's not able to grab the You can see on here there's a little bit, of, I think it's skidding off and getting kind of close. Yeah, it's getting. So I'm going to open up one more time and just see if I can see something to clean. That might work, but you know what? It's Maybe probably not gonna. Yeah, this is. These aren't. These aren't it. It's. I think it's these guys right here. Hmm. And these might. There might be something. You know, inside that. Either these are not turning, or they're not pressing against the piece of paper. I'm not sure yeah. which. We'll try one more time here. I'm gonna look underneath here and see if I can. See if I can put the, put the camera down here and look right in. See if you can see what's going on. Yeah, I'm not. So it pushed it up, and it's trying to grab it to get it to go through. So it pushed it up, and then it tried to get it. So some printers have a, a, a side feed on the back, but this one does not have that. It's too early for that. So I think what we're I think what we're dealing with here is a. I'm gonna just check this, see if there's something taking that out. If we can. 
pushed it up and it tried to grab it with these rollers and mm -hmm. these rollers went around but it just couldn't grab it. So I don't know if maybe these guys are just, I'm going to just check and see if they're too mm -hmm. dusty. If I, if I clean them off with my fingers maybe. So we're looking at, are, are we thinking that they're just not grabbing or is it just that the motors aren't strong enough or if they're not going? Or? Not quite sure. Not quite sure what it would be. Because if we look in there, it should, it looks like it should, if everything works, this is turning, the cartridge is turning. Cartridge in. Alright. One last time. Give it a couple of times, yeah. This is, this may be it. This, you know, it's not like we're trying to get this printer to print again. <laughs> this isn't going to be our main driver again. No, we're just trying to get it to... I feel it lifting the paper. Yep. I'm trying to grab it and get it to go through. But it won't. It won't go through. Yeah. Oh well. So, I think this printer has been turned on for the last time. I think that's it. Well, I think we're uh, I think we're saying goodbye to the LaserJet 3P. You know, when I look at it, I, I, I still my my gut still turns from the uh, $1,250. I feel like I'm putting on the curb. <laughs> However, the the laser jet the, or the laser printer we have up there now, which prints your mom's Sudoku's, like that, like that, man. It's a, <laughs> it's a, it takes it doesn't even take five seconds for the page to come out. Yeah. It's always crisp and clear, you know. They, I don't know if even they make cartridges for this anymore. If they make parts for it, and I'll run a search on eBay one more time. And so, if uh, this if this has any value at all, we'll put it on eBay. And maybe the manuals might have more value on eBay than the uh, printer itself. Or the I don't know. This thing, this guy might be. You know, these things just typically got thrown away, and they're pretty handy. They're yeah. Pretty handy if. Wait, well, this thing is down. Let me just try putting that thing up. Maybe that's all it was. Oh? <laughs> You're saying it might, we might have a chance now? I don't know, maybe. Let's just try it one last time. That thing is down. And maybe it couldn't do that. Hear the whine? I do. I hope that's picking up on the camera. Oh, oh it's here, trying there. so hard, but it, it can't. Uh, <laughs> oh, it yeah. can't do it. So maybe put the camera right up where that uh, wine is coming out, which I think is like over here. Put it right, right there, and just see if we can capture the sound of the LaserJet 3P, which is one of its distinctive features. The, <laughs> la the the sound was one of the most interesting things about it. Well, let me let me get. Yeah, this is definitely a vent. Definitely a vent. Yeah. Probably just defunct. Which is probably but HP laser jets were the were the absolute. This is the cream of the crop. It was the cream of the crop at the time. Yeah, the two the laser jet two that sat on my desk at, at uh, my corporate job <laughs> was a workhorse that they're, those are probably still out there printing right now. And this three P was a workhorse. I probably used it for 15 years wow. at least, uh, and uh, until the fuser finally uh, didn't fuse uh, things anymore, and I you know I just decided it was time to get something more time modern. to let it go time to let it go get something more modern yeah. so this one will either go on ebay or to the curb but anyway that's where we're at so thanks for joining us on the gear graveyard this is dad and true all right see you next time